Welcome, Sagittarius. I'm Brenda, Brenda Tarot, and I'm here again today to bring you your Angel Tarot and Oracle reading for the week of April the 29th to May the 7th. I truly want to thank you for your interest in my channel and for viewing, liking, sharing, and subscribing to these videos. Please, please be sure to click the bell button next to subscribe and you'll get notified immediately when these are published and out on open air on YouTube. Yes, people have been coming to me asking me if I'm still doing the pay it forward limited time offer. 30 minute reading for $30. Yes, I am pushed over now into May with this tremendous opportunity. So if you want to meet with me and have a personal reading or you want a video reading forwarded to you, Click the icon in the top right hand corner of this video and it will take you to my website where you'll see at the top of the page the PayPal button. If you're on a mobile, you will see three vertical lines. Click on them and it will allow you to open up the PayPal to submit your payment. When I get notified from PayPal <clears throat> of payment received, I will contact you right away on email to set this appointment up. So, as you know, this is strictly a general reading. Every single card will not apply or resonate with every single Sagittarius out there. But if it does, run with it and like I always say, throw the rest out into the universe. Here we go, my beautiful Sagittarians. Let's see what our all over energy here for today is. You got the Ten of Earth in the Angel Tarot and Earth cards often have to do with our careers, professions, uh, our jobs, how we bring that currency into our lives, but it can also have to do with our closest circle, which is our family or friends we feel we can draw into that circle. But you know what? The Ten of Earth, the Ten of Pentacles talks about everything working out. It's like jackpot time. You've got a happy family life and your financial and, and finances are secure too. So this is a good week of feeling that you're in a safe place, feeling that things are working out, that you have enough Sagittarius, okay? And you know what? Enjoy that. Revel in that. Celebrate that. Go out and have a good time. Enjoy yourself. Uh, enjoy the little things in life, okay? And that's family and that's being able to share time with them. So the Ten of Earth is a great card. The Ten of Pentacles is so fantastic when it comes to things turning around and knowing that <clears throat> you're in a good place. Starting off the beginning of the week, you've been given the Knight of Earth, the Knight of Pentacles. So this is telling me that, you know, you're going to have some work on your, on your, on your desk. You're going to have some, you know, things to do on your plate. You're going to have to step up and buckle down. This is all about moving forward, looking at the horizon and saying, God, I got this workload to get done and I better get my button gear and do it. Okay, so buckle down and get things done. Some of you may have put things on hold. Some of you may have decided that, you know, you had better things to do or you had things that were more pressing that you had to honor. Now you've got to get down to work. It's crunch time. So do it. You're going to have help because this is a card that always talks about your guardian angel there to help you. Perhaps this Knight of Pentacles, this Knight of Pentacles may be the one that's going to help you. A Taurus, a Virgo or a Capricorn coming in to lend some assistance to help with the workload. Never be afraid to ask for help, my friends. It's there. Now, crowning your week, beautiful energy, beautiful energy here. You got the high priestess. This is knowing where you, who you are, where you want to go, standing in your power, setting yourself up, listening to your own intuition. But at the same time, you're doing it in moderation. You may need to be patient <clears throat> while you're doing this, while you're processing information, while you're working on issues and situations in your life. Before you step out there, if you're wanting to take a risk, you're wanting to roll the dice, you're wanting to get into something new in your life, consider it carefully, what it is that you want before you act on it. And that's what the Empress does. She looks at both sides of the coin. She makes sure she can pick what's going to serve her to her greater good and her higher power. That's what's all of that. That's what it's all about. Tapping into your own personal inner intuition. If it doesn't look good or feel good, don't go there. If it looks too good to be true, don't go there. <clears throat> but if it fills you with abundance and it fills you with joy and it fills you with the hope of a better outcome, jump in, my friend. <clears throat> because the end of the week, you're getting a gift. And this is a page of water. And water often has to do with relationships and things on an emotional level. Looking at things on an emotional level. 
you're going to be maybe getting a gift from this page of water. And he may be a Pisces, a Cancer, a Scorpio coming in. He may be younger. He may be, uh, you know, lighthearted. He may be sensitive. He may be friendly and artistic and so on. And he may be fun. He may be someone coming in to offer you his hand in affection or attention. Or he may be some new suitor out there. He may look younger, be younger, or act younger. All good fun, my beautiful Sagittarius. Do not be afraid to step up into this. But if you notice, in his cup, he has a fish, and this may be, <clears throat> he's a dreamer, and he's only here for a fleeting moment, and he may not be here forever. But enjoy his company if he does come into you. I do see this new person is going to enter some of your lives, and it will, this relationship will start a new, fresh phase. It begins a new, fresh phase in your life for some of you. Now, Again, it talks about your heightened ability to tap into your psychic ability, your intuition. You're going to be a great judge of character here when you meet this, this guy. He's going to be fun. He may be somebody you wouldn't normally look into or be attracted to or even think you would want to have a relationship with. <clears throat> Keep in mind, he is fickle, okay? He is a lighthearted <clears throat> page of water. But he is true, he is good, and he is honest, okay? So, and he wears his heart on the sleeve too because he is a water sign. He is an emotional card here. He is a cup sign. So enjoy it for what it is. Don't be afraid to step up. Don't be afraid to have fun. This person may become just a tremendous fan, friend or he may become a romantic suitor. Okay, let's see what we have here, Sagittarius, for the added information that we need here. The added energy that we need here for this reading. Okay. Oh, they're flying everywhere today. They're flying everywhere today. Now I need two more, please. Two more, please. Thank you. Thank you. I need one more, please. One more. Thank you. All righty. Well, there you go. There's your confirmation. Okay, we talked about it. We talked about someone coming in to give you help. We talked about buckling down. This may be the guy coming in to give you this gift of his his time, his effort, and his wisdom. Coming in here at the beginning of the week, this is where this card landed. This is all about this, this beautiful night of pentacles coming in. And uh, this man may be a Taurus, a Gemini, uh, pardon me, a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn coming into you that's going to lend you this, this, his help, his wisdom, his effort, his time. Beautiful. Now, when we talked about the, the, uh, the beautiful Empress here, uh, you know what? There have been bridges for you to climb, for you to be able to trust your own intuition, for you to be able to step up into your power. I see that, but at the end of the day, it's going to work out. You're going to be able to climb higher. You're going to be able to ascend into that. You're going to be able to tap into your own intuition and trust it now. Here's your gift, my friend. We talked about this beautiful page coming into some of your lives. He's bringing you a gift of affection. These are red flowers. They're like red roses. They're tulips. But this is a beautiful, beautiful gift coming in. You know? Uh, it's it's an amazing gift, and this page may be the one that's going to bring in that fun for you. So enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Let's see what we have here for our beautiful, beautiful messages now from the beautiful decks that are coming in here. Uh, this is the answers from the angel stuff, this beautiful oracle card, a year from now. So if some of you have been waiting for something to happen, you've been, it's been on hold, uh, perhaps it's a move, perhaps it's a job, perhaps it's, it's, it's uh, hearing from someone, whatever it is, it will be over, okay? It will be, con it will, the conclusion will come in in a year from now, or this event will show up a year from now, or this situation will show up in a year from now, okay? Whatever it is that you've been asking for, know that there will be probably a span of 12 months before you see this come into play. Your final card, my beautiful Sagittarius, is optimism. Well, we talked about that. Tapping into your own intuition here, knowing that you're going to get a gift of affection and attention coming in here, knowing that, you know, you don't, you're, you're going to be able to buckle down and get the work done. Don't give up. You've got help coming in. Beautiful, beautiful energy this week, Sagittarius fantastic i'm happy for you revel in this beautiful beautiful uh all over energy of knowing that you're going to have enough and don't worry well my beautiful sagittarius this is your reading i hope some of it resonated with you leave your kind comments below like you always do i always love to read them you're so kind and i'm truly blessed for you all of you subscribers that do find interest in my videos. So I'll see you again next week and know that I always and only stand in this circle of love and light for you, Sagittarius.